Number 39. For the following, find the value of the variable and the length of each special segment, segments that appear to be tangent or tangent. Okay. A good thing to remember on this is it's inside plus outside times outside. Inside plus outside times outside. Inside plus outside times outside. And the arcs will equal. So on this one right here, we're going to do inside plus outside times outside. So 4 plus 14 times 14 equals, ah, don't need that parentheses, inside plus outside times outside. So Z plus 9 times 9. Inside plus outside times outside. So Z plus 9 times 9, 4 times 14 times 14. So if you add these up, you get 18. 18 times 14 exceeds my RAM real quick. So 18 times 14, you get 252. Ah! 252 equals 9Z plus 81. Move over the 81, you get 1. Don't have to borrow 7. 171 equals 9Z, and that divides evenly. You'll get 19. So Z is going to be 19. Remember, inside plus outside times outside. So on this is right here, inside plus outside times outside, inside plus outside times outside. Okay, so inside plus outside equals, I don't need that parentheses, 18 times 9, 18 plus 9 times 9. Inside plus outside times outside, n plus 12 times 12, 18 plus 9 times 9. 18 plus 9 times 9. So distribute this right here. You get 12m plus 144 equals uh, 27 times 9 is 180 plus 63, 243. Move that over and subtract. You would get 12n equals, this isn't going to work. Did I multiply right? 27 times 9. That's 243 minus 144. That won't divide by 12, though. So N is going to be 99 over 12, and you can divide those by 3. You would get 33 over 4. So 33 over 4 would be your value of N. This one right here, inside plus outside times outside, inside plus outside times outside. So we have 3x plus x inside plus outside times outside equals inside plus outside times outside. Oh, oh, oh this is going to be a quadratic. So this is going to be 4x times x is 4x squared equals, uh, this is going to be, x plus 12 times x plus 4, which will be x squared plus 16x plus 48. Move everything to the left to set it equal to 0. So 3x squared minus 16x minus 48 equals 0. We have to factor this. I'm going to factor it my more power way. I need 1 and 3, and i got to subtract and get 16. 1 and 48, 2 and 24, 3 and 16, 4 and 12, 6 and 8. Subtract and get 12. Subtract and get, or I'm sorry, subtract and get 16. So 2 and 24 are going to work. 24 and 6, that subtracts and give you 16. So 3x minus 24 and x plus 2. So your... That doesn't seem right. Because that factors. Oh, this is going to be an 8. Wait, 2 and 24. 3 times 2 is 6. So 1 and 2, x is equal to 8, that doesn't make sense. Okay, 
So x is going to end up being 8 or negative 2, and 8 is going to be your positive root. Right here, we're just going to take 35 squared equals inside plus outside times outside. So x plus 21 times 21. And I'm just going to say on your test, you will not have a factor. You won't have to factor. There's no quadratics on your test. I'll be nice on that. No quadratics. Right here, 35 times 35 is 1225 equals 21x plus 441. And then you're going to move the 441 over. 1225 minus 441. You get 784 equals 21x divided by 21. You get, uh, let's see, divide by 21. You get 37 and a third. Let's see, divide those by 3. Or 7. If you divide by 7, you get 1, 1. That would be your answer, 112 over 3.